We record. Okay, we live. We recorded. Yo, welcome everybody. Tapped in with Troy, special edition. Yeah, I got yeah. my little brother in the building. Yeah, sir. <laughs> live from the three hundred two. Yeah. Right, right, right. We just here shooting this shit. He's it's his first time here at my crib in um, Punta Cana, so we just in here chilling. Um, you know, just you know, we just gonna freestyle a little bit tonight. Um, we are gonna talk about. Uh, you know, his, his thoughts of the area, what he thinks about Punta Cana, um, what he thinks about me making the move, what it was like, you know, on the outside when I moved down here, and just, you know, a little quick history that we got together and shit. We both do share the same parents, mother and, fa <laughs> mother and father. So, in case y'all can't figure it, y'all don't know. Well, technically, you told me I was, y'all found me and... <laughs> Trash kids and women when we were little. Yeah, Yo, was, everybody has told their little brother and little sister that they were adopted. Nah, <laughs> For years though, you don't even say it a couple times and then you know you move on. But it was, oh man, I, I wish I never told them bring you home and I told my mom we want a little brother and now here you are. <laughs> Yo, but here's the real ask him why he who who requested for him to be here. You know what I'm saying? That's, I'm I'm partially responsible for, outside of my father for him being here because that's still in question. That's not in question. <laughs> my mom would tell you we when we moved we moved from Maryland to Delaware, and we I came from we come from a town where like um, people call it Rosewood when I was in the army and shit. Oh, <laughs> but the town we come from is like it's a small town. Yeah. Everybody is related. Right. You know what I'm saying? So. Um, it was really like I had, we have a big family, so I, it was, I didn't really have any friends. I, I tell people all the time I didn't have friends growing up. I had cousins, yeah. so and even to cast word of my friends, they, we would call each other cousins. Yeah. So we moved to Delaware. So now we in Delaware. It's just me, my mom, and my dad, and I, I didn't have any family. I had I had met my man Dwayne, my best friend Dwayne. He happened to be the same age as me. He had lived like two houses down. We since we were five. That's been my man's. But I was over there and I was like, but Dwayne had a brother, he had an older brother. So we had his family. So we had, you know, after, you know, three o'clock, school's over, we gotta be in the house. It's just me and we, the family that I had, the shit that my father was into, we weren't allowed to have company. So we just couldn't, everybody couldn't come to the house. You know what I'm saying? So I'd be in the house, everybody play with. So I'm getting older, so I'm, I'm begging my mom at like six. I'm like, yo, I need a little brother. I want a little brother, I want a little brother. She was like, you, I'm like, yeah, I want a little brother. So then the, uh, she gets pregnant, I think, when I was six, and she had my brother when I was seven. Right. So um, I turned seven, she didn't, then she had my brother the next month. So um, that's that's my story on that's how, the true that's the true Hollywood story <laughs> man, man. on how, how I got a little brother. Well, I'm but, glad you did. Yeah, man, but the crazy thing is, I get a little brother, and this is when it hit me. It was Christmas time, so <laughs> it's Christmas time. And I don't even really think I don't even think that he could like he could even he don't even remember these gifts and shit. You know, when when your child is one or two, it don't matter what the hell you get them for Christmas. They ain't gonna remember that. Right. So like I'm like I'm like ten. You know, Transformers is popping, GI Joe popping. I'm like okay, you know I got two parents. I'm thinking, I'm like, okay, this Christmas is about to be, Kenny, yeah. He, Kenny was doing his thing at yeah. the time, you know what I'm saying? So I'm, about to get, I'm about to get me a nice Christmas. I start getting socks and shit. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Like, I'm getting socks for Christmas. Like, these, my, yo, we had two middle class. But keep it funky, bro. Hmm? What's she, what's my oh, we're going we to oh, get to that. We're going to get to that. We're going to get to that. We're going to get to that part. We're going to get to that part. All right. So, you know, and this is why we had to get to that part. I had to press her out over this. So I'm like, I'm getting socks. And she's like, well, it's your brother. You got to share a kiss with your brother. Now I start to look at this little mug. I'm like, I'm like this. I'm very fucked. And then, yeah. ain't looking My Christmas has started getting light. I mean, like, light. I don't, I don't remember. I had one real good Christmas. And I was in PT. That was when we was living in Maryland. Yeah. And um, my grandfather hit at the racetrack. 
he bought us, he bought me and my cousin, Peter, we, we were raised like brothers in the same house, my cousin. He bought us dirt bikes and go-karts and shit. It was like the greatest Christmas ever, you know what I'm talking about? I was so excited, and we grew up on the East Coast. It's dead December. We run outside in our pajamas, it's <laughs> snow outside. Jump on them <laughs> They're like, come here and get your clothes on. We out there trying to start it. <laughs> and my cousin was like, y'all want that? I'm getting a dirt bike. He was always like the, um, you know, the favorite of the crew. So he was like, I'm getting oh, a dirt <laughs> He was. You know what it was. I mean, yeah, shit. It's, 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 you know, everything yeah. got something behind it. Yeah, so, excuse the text message. So, so he's like, I'm going to get the dirt bike. And I'm like, ah, oh, man, I'm gonna get so I'm taking, I'm, I'm used to taking right. the, the second shit. Right, yeah. right. So I get the go-kart. But he didn't know the go kart was faster than that 50. I could lap him. He be riding him. I could ride around him and shit. So I'm riding around him. The go kart was the shit. The go kart was the fuck you up behind this <laughs> What is it? That's, but you know what? I talk to my big brother John all the time. Mm. They would always try to put um, us against each other, mm. but he never, ever, ever treated me like that. One time, and we got in a fight. Because me and him was like this. This was like my this is this is like my brother. Yeah, yeah. So um, one time he tried to show off for my older brothers, my other my, I call my brother, but my older cousins. Um, we was, he was trying to show off and shit. I'm like, man, you don't act like that when it's just me and you and right, shit. But right. he's older than me. My cousin P is like 11 months older than me, right. and we was we was in the same grade. He's like 11. I had a late birthday. He had an early birthday. So I was born in December. He was born in January. Yeah, so he got me about like 11 months. So. He um matter of fact, his birthday is a, is, is right around the same time my brother's birthday. Day before. So, we got into a fight over that, but that was my dog growing up, and we never he's never treated me how they wanted him. He could have been a real, and that's why I love him, because they had put him up here, like my grandmother loved him, and like they would tell me, why can't you act like him? He never made me feel like, he never, he never shit on, he always shared with me. Now, he might not be like that with everybody else, I don't know everybody else's story, but I know when it comes to me, that was my dog. But back to this cat right here. So. We, we, I get my little brother, Christmas is getting short, and my parents like to go out. <laughs> so, <laughs> so we're going to talk about how we watched our parents, because the premise of this show tonight, even though we freestyle, we're going to talk about how you raise raising um, children, yes. and how we raised our kids, and how we got to where we're at. So, nice. if y'all don't know, I retired early, I'm living out here in um, Punta Cana, and my brother, super successful. He's, I'm gonna I'm I'm give him his flowers. He's getting to it. So, super proud of him. Large home, beautiful family, beautiful wife, kids, dogs. Does his thing. He's on the road a lot working, but he's he's getting to it. Appreciate so, it. our um, and I always get like, <clears throat> like, like when I see somebody doing something well, I get hyped. I think that's why I'm Gosh, blessed. Yo. I'm blessed because hey, I don't be like, damn. Look at this, look at this, who he think, why he, yeah, why he get that, yeah. why he got that. I be like hype and shit, like my little sister, um, Britt, she got a house, they all, they got houses around the same time. Yeah, yeah. Nice shit, and I was just happy, I was happy for them, not yeah. like, because I want, for them, what I would want for myself, you right. know what I'm saying, so I'm not, I'm not, I don't go around like, damn, why him and not me, yeah, yeah. you know what I'm saying, it's weird as fuck, man. And, and like, to be hating on your siblings or your, um, weird. it's weird, That's man. very weird. Because like, because like when they when they make it, you make it. So like, so like when I I started getting some money, and I would always keep him with me. That's why he was so mature. Thank you. Is because I kept him on my hip. Like my mom was like, take your brother with you. I'm like, I bet he part of the crew. But we had he had to earn his stripes to be part of the crew. So he had his little crew, and you know we was older. It was like seven years. So we would run down on them and jump on them and beat them up and shit. Yeah. And his man's in them would run. But he was staying. He always would stay and fight. So, I was like, why are, you, why are you doing that to him? I said, yo, I didn't have an older brother. I'm not going to be here forever. I got to make sure his hands is right so when I leave, ain't nobody going to mess with him. So, after his friends would run, we would take him. Like, all right, you running with us now. But hold up. Something we got to do first. You got to go fuck them up. We're going to <laughs> go get the cats that ran. Go get those cats that ran on you and whoop their ass. And we would watch him whoop their ass. Now, come on, you coming with us. So that carried on, cause like, how old were you when um, we was down Myrtle? The first Shit, man. How old? I, I had, like I had 12? 12? I might have been like 12, 13. 12, 13, yeah. yeah. So he's like 12, 13. What? I feel like you was younger. Nah, 
Cause I had, I was in, I was in the army, so I was like twenty one. So you like fourteen? Yeah, yeah. He's like fourteen, and we, you know, everybody know Myrtle Beach Bike Week. Yeah, kind of this is when, this when, is when it was bike, bike week, bike, bike week. week. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, this, this yeah, ain't that new. Right. Yeah, this is like because my about shaky butts. Yeah, everywhere. <laughs> so, we, but we gotta get a backdrop. My dad is a, is a biker. We not even gonna say his name because it's mm-hmm. it's probably some some mess. He's and he's MC, so he's he's not in the bike club that dress up bike. He's biker biker. Yeah, yeah. all day every day biker. So they going to Myrtle. I was going to Myrtle when I, I've been going to Myrtle since I was like ten, nine. So, I got him with me, and I'm hanging with him. It's like, I'm seeing cats down there from the army that I know. I'm seeing my other cousins. I'm rocking with him. Yeah. It's me and him. He part, We party so hard. He's like 14. He's in everywhere I'm going, he's with me. Yeah. We, I had a 929. I had some 20s and a TV on it. So, we chilling. Green joint. Green, oh, yeah, money green joint. Oh. We chilling. We riding down the strip. He's, in the, he's jumping out the car. He's on the girls. <laughs> he's taking pictures with chicks. 14. He's smacking ass. And the girls are laughing. They're like, look at his little ass. <laughs> Always been short. He on the back. Girls on the bikes riding. But I'm like, yo, chill. Now you get a charge for some shit. Oh. They would have canceled you. <laughs> you wouldn't even have got on. You wouldn't even got on to get canceled. Right. So, so we down at, we are in Myrtle acting a fool. But this is my man's. Right. And the reason why I know this my man's, if it go down, he ain't going to run. He gonna have my back, you know what I'm saying? Because he didn't been brought up like that. Right. And this is my man's. Love my brother. So I, I'm, who would I rather hang out than with my brother? Right. Yo, we hanging out so hard. And I'm I'm married at the time. I had just got married. Just my wife was. Was she pregnant that she had a baby? Who she got? I think she was. She had her. I don't know. I don't think so, bro. Nah. Nah, we was wild. Nah, nah, nah. Because I definitely had got. Yeah, I had my. Like I, yeah, she she was pregnant. I think she might have been pregnant. I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. I, I, don't I came know. to Georgia when I was. I came to Georgia not long after that. Not too long after. Yeah. I don't remember, man. I think. Oh. She, I think my. I don't know. I don't know. My wife was bitching, but my mom I think was. I might have been younger than my, fourteen. That you might have been younger. Cause I yeah. came down to GA when I was like when I was like fourteen. Right, right, right. So, so she I wasn't there. My daughter yeah. wasn't born. My, my wife. My wife might have been pregnant. Or she, my wife might have been. Might not have been pregnant, but we might have been married. I don't know. But um. And my wife was like bitching to my mom. My mom was like, yo, it's Myrtle. What's wrong with you? Man, we cut up. Man, we cut up. We cut up. We were coming like four. God. He, we partied so hard, he fell asleep in the car. Uh, like he, he, he just gave up. He wanted to be awake because it was the, the party wasn't stopping. He wanted to be awake, but he just couldn't. His body, I looked over, his body was like, he was like this in the seat. And big, big, but look, big. You figure it was like the third day. The third day. We was down that bitch for like four uh, days. Yeah, four was, days. Yeah, four days. It was like yeah. I was depleted. Yeah, he was uh, tired. Like he was tired of hell, but he was running with us. He was running with us. We had a ball, man. We had a ball. But mm-hmm. always had him on my hip everywhere I go. Because, you know, you, bro, like, sometimes you ain't even got to say shit. You mm-hmm. just, I just watch. You can just watch. A lot of motherfuckers can learn a whole lot. If you just shut the fuck up and watch. Yeah. I hate a motherfucker to say, I know when you're trying to tell him something. Yeah, it's, oh, yeah, it's yeah, that I pride, know, the know, pride, the pride no, kicking. You in. don't know the pride kicking. You know what I'm shit. saying? And I and you checked me on that a long time ago, brother. Yeah. Just sit back and listen to a motherfucker. They gonna yeah. tell you everything you need to know about <clears throat> whatever's going on. The, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Just sit back and listen. They'll tell you. Yeah. You know what I mean? And you'll know if they're full of shit. And if you can't learn nothing from them, please excuse them motherfuckers out your life. Yo. Yeah, get them away. Get them from around you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I try to and and like you said. Passing this down to your kids. Yeah. I, try to, I talk to my kids like they grown men. Yeah, because mom always talked to us like Just like we were grown. Like she's never baby talked me. None of that. We don't, don't hide nothing from mm-hmm. nobody. Nah. We ain't doing, we ain't, this we is ain't got time. Yeah, we ain't got, she ain't had time. But like my parents, they they work like real hard, like overtime or whatever. They was trying to get to it. Right. But you would think, we, you know, we was in the burbs, two parents. Uh-huh. That they just, you know, we would have shit. That's what we're going back to the Christmas. Because that's basically what we're talking about um, with the with the podcast tonight. Is, you know, how to not to spoil your children. Because we're products of two parents that didn't. I, t- I keep telling my mom, yo, we should write a book and call it um, Panther Mom. Like like the, the Asian lady wrote the book about Tiger Mom, how Asian people raise their children. Uh-huh. So we can talk about how my mom raised us. And how my mom raised us was she just didn't give us nothing. 
she gave us the bare minimum. And you would watch them balling. Like my mom and dad, my dad had his bike chromed out. They had leather pants back in the day. Rick James was jumping. And um, they going out to the, they going, they in Philly. They in Baltimore, they're in, they might be in DC. They in Porn Town, they in, they're party. My mother and father work hard Friday night, party time. Right. I'm talking about like, when they would get dressed, it was a movie. My mom being there getting dressed. Music blast. Music is blasting. Now, my dad's got his bike outside. It's been running for 30 minutes. <laughs> outside you know, of your just window. running. Outside of my window, Harley just, hug, 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 hug. You can smell the damn, um, what's that shit he put on? Wax. You can smell the wax all in the house from the bike. He didn't got the bike shined Bleeding up. Bleeding off the pipes. What's that one song? You're so... <laughs> Good and loud. Uh, that was my mom. She, Lisa uh, and Uncle. Uh, they in there rock. They dance. My mom dancing on me. I'm like, yeah, we can, you going out, yeah? All right, y'all. <laughs> we see y'all in the morning. Leave your brother alone. Leave your brother alone. They would put him in the room and lock the door. And I would beg this nigga to let me in. Because they had the <laughs> They had the cable box. Well, they had two TVs. Yeah. That was it. One in their room, one in the living room. No, one downstairs where it was cold. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that bitch only had like 13 Ch channels on that. He in the room with the cable box. Oh, he laid on the <laughs> I can see this little nigga. He had like some popcorn yeah. or some Home Alone shit. Yeah, yeah, he yeah. laid up like this, chilling. I'm out there in the cold like, yo, let me in. Yeah. <laughs> oh, let's be friends. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> nigga nice. wouldn't let me in. Nah, I, I, get that, I get that butter and I ain't picked that shit. Yeah, and nigga yeah, yeah. be like this. <laughs> Let him in. Well, where I'm at. Now I'm outside. Locked out. <laughs> I kick him out. Boom. <laughs> but uh, parents, great parents, oh, yeah. and my mother. It, I remember I was like, uh, I remember my cousin Reese. He stunned on us so hard one Christmas. He had got this like, I seen it on Instagram too, because I'll never forget it. He got this like Diamondback bike. It had the white mags, it was gray. Ooh. And it, it was so hard, yo, this BMX bike. Yeah, my cousin yeah. Reed got the bike. He rode all the way from his house back to back the lane yeah. where we lived at. He rode up the, rode up the, now it's cold, it's Christmas. <laughs> he rode up the lane, yo. He know me and people, he was looking, we looking outside from the porch. He gets in front of the house, does a trick where he spins the, stick, the, the, the wheel around the front, joint around. We was like this, cause we ain't never seen this shit. We never, we seen this on TV, you know what I'm saying? We ain't never seen this in real life, yo. He spins the wheel around, we like this. It was like when Michael Jackson did the moonwalk <laughs> on the 25th anniversary, Motel 25th anniversary. If you seen that live, you know what I'm talking about. We got to chill. So like all this is going on, so I turn, I look at my mom, because he's got one parent. I got two parents. I'm looking at my Christmas gifts. Now you know my Christmas gifts is getting short because I got a little brother now. I'm looking at these fucking socks I got. <laughs> this nigga's got a five hundred dollar BMX bike. Man, I was tight, man. I remember, I remember like my mom. You, you can talk to my mom. She'll have a conversation with you like you're an adult. Yeah. So I remember, I remember going to my mom, and I was like, "Yo, this don't make no damn sense. I got two parents. I had this conversation with her a couple of times." I said, I'm not getting nothing. I don't have nothing. She said, my job is just to make sure you got a roof over your head, clothes on your back, food in your stomach. Right. She said, it doesn't say I got to get you these type of clothes on your back. It doesn't say I got to buy you toys. He said, I'm, she said, I'm doing what I got to do. She said, you're going to understand when you get older. I'm making a man out of you. You don't understand now, but when you get older, you're going to understand. Her favorite saying, God bless a child that's got his own. So... I'm like, all right, bet. Makes so sense. I got to get it. I got to get it myself. My parents ain't going to give it to me. Most definitely. And, you know. That led, that led to some stupid decisions I made because anybody know me, they know I'm, I'm an asshole kind of on the low. And I'm, I'm a pick, I pick. I used to pick with people about their clothes and whatever. If, you, if you've messed up, don't come around me. So we had a high, we had a hallway high school. I know it probably got passed down to y'all on second floor there by the bathroom. That's where all the brothers hung out. Sorry. Each side of the wall. Some brothers would be over there by the lockers, other cats on the wall. You walking by, it was like a runway. 
if your shoes was messed up, we was on you. We called it the gauntlet. You couldn't get through there. Like people would avoid going through there. So from years of busting on people, I'm like, yo, all right, we going into we going into my eighth grade year. No, we going to my freshman year. I think I already been. I said, yo, <clears throat> I got to get right. I can't come out here with no B. I got to get. I got to get some polos. I got to get some J's. I need some cross colors. I need to be fresh. I need to be fresh because you can't walk down this hallway if you're not right. So my mom takes me to J.C. Penney's. I don't know, if, no disrespect to Penney's, but back in the day we had merry-go-round in the mall and we had Macy's. You wanted to be in Macy's and you wanted to be in merry-go-round and buy your clothes. Merry-go-round had the cross-color stuff and mm-hmm. all the Durangos and the weird, you know, boot shit. Carl Kanai. Macy's had the polo, chaps, and Nautica. So I'm trying to be in Macy's and I'm trying to be in, I'm trying to be in a, uh, and Mary go around. Before she had you. She had me in panties in the back of the mall. And like we, we, and then like I went to go, I think I went to go get my shoes. We didn't even go to Foot Locker to get my shoes. We went to, I think we might have got our shoes out of panties. And I had the Nikes without the air. It was just the Nike. Like the, <laughs> like the big Nike. You know what I'm saying? It said like Nike on your, sh- no air, no bubble, no, no technology or nothing. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, man, I can't wear this, man. I'm, I'm looking at, I'm thinking my mom is joking. Kill you, Lionheart. Yeah, they, oh, they was gonna warm my shit up. Man. I'm like, yo, we going to school shit. I'm like, yo, I can't do this, man. I'm like, she got me the um, the penny shirts. It's the uh, it's the it's the cat. He's on the horse. It ain't the it ain't the U.S. polo. It was another. It was a, some other kind of off brand. I said, yo, niggas gonna grind me up, man. I can't come to school like this, yo, man. Please. Yo, we got the big ass Nike shoes. Tight in the my, my, my jeans wasn't even baggy because back then you had to have a baggy man. I was like, yo, I'm gonna get it. So we we're gonna leave people nameless in here. So I go to my man's so like, yo, I can't. He like, look, I'm gonna show you how you get this work off. I was like, bad. <laughs> so we started to do that on Yeah, yo, oh, oh, this, this, this limitations is up now. <laughs> right, it's it's good, like 30 good. years ago. So, right, so right. <laughs> 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 you know what I'm saying? So like, oh, so I'm getting to it. I'm getting money. Right. And remember, remember when I put the lock on my door in the crib? Yeah. There was a loop. They knew. So, they knew. Was they knew. Like, I'm going to tell you how, I don't want to say how cheap my my parents are. I believe they let, you. They let me because they knew they didn't have they didn't have to give me money. So they, listen, I'm going to tell you. It trickled down to me. It took, so look, we going, we Wendy's. What you want? We going Wendy's. We going, wait, what you need? So we'd have dinner. I remember coming home, oh, and they eat dinner. I got the man. Wendy's bag. I'm like, oh, y'all eat, y'all try got pork chops or something. Okay, I'm gonna go in the back and eat this Wendy's. <laughs> so, Boy, I, I put the lock on my door because I had my pack in the room. And my mom snapped. She said, "Boy, don't you put no MF and locks on my damn doors? Like, Who the hell you think you is?" I said, <laughs> like, yo, I got my pack in here. I'm not trying to have my dad find my pack. Yeah. <laughs> pack be going up to know about that. No, by all means, we ain't no We're not glorifying that. No, no, it was, it was, it was, it was, I, it was necessary. Yeah. It was necessary because I could not go to school yeah. looking crazy, man. But, like, but, you know, you also had a job. You mm. also had a job. So let's not. And this is why I had a job. Because my mother told me, she said, the police, you, know, you think the police care about you selling drugs to they your own people? people? They don't care. Exactly. It's not what they mad about. It's the fact you ain't got a job. And they gotta get up like the rest of us and go work. And you little assholes is half our age getting more money than us and you ain't even working. Right. So I'm just acting like I don't know what she's talking about. I'm like, I never ever admitted that I sold anything to her. Right. I'm like, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what you're talking about. Right. So remember when, remember when they found the weed? They found yeah. the weed. Remember when you dropped that bitch in the kitchen? You what? dropped that bag in the kitchen? The heart? Yeah. What happened? You don't remember when you came in the crib? And you was doing something, and you dropped that bitch right in the floor. Did mom see it? No. You saw it. I see it. Oh. <laughs> this thing. Wow. <laughs> Yo, I'll lose shit. I'll, I'll drop shit and lose. Yeah, I'm, I'm very careless with shit. I didn't. I be hiding shit for myself in here. I don't even know but why. You know, bro. Honestly, bro. You know what stuck and what made, and I think you passed. You kind of kicked that down to me. You was like, Yo, man. Mom and them got money, bro. And they tell you, she'll tell you quick. You know your father got, got money. 
ain't, you got ain't got shit. no money. <laughs> you ain't got shit. Nah. So, uh, with knowing that, I think I started doing my own school shopping. Once I, only thing I got her to do was take me down to the DMV so I can get my uh, working papers. And mm-hmm. shit. Once I got them working papers, it wasn't nothing I really do. I was going out and getting it by any means necessary. Yeah, you yeah. You know what I'm saying? You was like, I'm working. I'm working now. Yeah, yeah. And then, you know, my peoples out the way, we was shooting dice damn near yeah. every fucking night. So, you know, yeah, and I was it, doubling up on your bread. You and get, it, had the chronic. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, you right. know, you selling that shit. Shit, I was doing my own school shopping at 14, 15 years old. Right. Now. We're going to pause it real quick because I got, I got somebody that came over here. Right. Pause the story right here. Um, matter of fact, we'll just, we'll, we can splice them both together. Right. Matter of fact, just pause it. My brother rap. He'll tell you some more stories about this. Tell you some more stories about hey, yo, before I, I got my get, boxes. Before I keep going, getting started with whatever. <clears throat> Shout out to one of the banks. Wavy alumni. Wavy alumni. They're power, the movement. It's all there, man. Uh, check him out on wavyalumni.com. Thanks, shout out, big bro. Got me real fresh, real quick, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I'm out here starting. A lot of people out here was feeling the pride. I even dropped a few shorts on the song, a couple cats out here, so, you know, hopefully, you know what I mean? You'll, it'll pop up on your gram somewhere. Um, but, why I got him off the mic, honestly, man, I just want to give my brother his flowers, man. It's beautiful out here, his home is beautiful. Man, anybody that's trying to come out here to put the kind of man, please holler at my bro. You know what I'm saying? He gonna show you mad love. I mean, the people out here are decent. You know, once you get out here, it might be a little, you know what I mean, not to get liking, but give it some time, man. Grow on you. It's good people, man. You know what I mean? Great eats. You know what I'm saying? Little spots. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, climate can't be that. Scenery is crazy, you know what I'm saying? And that's for the, the couples, the singles, and all that, you know what I mean? Bring them, you know what I mean? They got everything for everybody out this bitch, you know what I'm saying? It's cool, you know what I mean? A lot of women don't want their men coming out here. Hell, come with them, you know what I mean? Shit, you know what I mean? They, you gonna find, you gonna find bad bitches in, in, in the U.S. too. Man, tell, these, tell, these, tell these can't cats, man. Them, man. You know what I mean? Tell but these cats, If yo, your man, man was corny at home, he's corny, corny out here. here. It ain't no different. You no. know what I mean? It is what it is. Man. And here's, wow. here's the thing. If you wasn't getting women back home... You're not going to grab my hair. No. Man. That's the thing. Like, my brother will tell you, I done had some beautiful women in my life, man. And I don't think I'm the most handsome. I, sometimes I be like, damn... You gonna let me? You gonna let me? You gonna let me? <laughs> <laughs> what? They lack I didn't ask for. You know. We just left one of my ex's house, and I'm still cool with a lot of my exes. Yes. Shout we just, out to Angie, yo. We just left my ex's house. We just left my ex from out here house. Still looking. Oh. You know, but you good people, man. You treat people how you want to be treated. You know what I'm Simple saying? as and that. that. And that relationship will never die. Simple you as know that. What I'm saying? It just don't work out. And it ain't gotta make it weird. You know what I mean? You mm-hmm. ain't gotta make it weird. We ain't gonna end it on no hate. I hate you. Nah, for what? Why? Wow, life's too short. We had a we had a moment in time. It was that's beautiful. It. You know that's what it. I'm saying? But now you know you moved on. I moved on. But let's still be friends. <clears> that's we it. Have. We can be friends. That's it, you know, and that's Ooh. cool, bro. That's cool. Ooh. I like that, man. I'm glad you took me over there to see Ange too, man. Yeah, yeah. That you know she was dope, asking man. about you. That was dope. You man. know what I'm saying? She good people. And I and I and I, I had. You know, my, my ex out here, she she was going to the States. She'd been to the States four or five times. She's in my house in the States. So, you know what I'm saying? It wasn't like yeah, was. we was just out here and I was promising her, oh, you're going to get to the States. Like, nah, she and you can go to the States. Shit, she be going everywhere. Europe. Yeah, she was in Europe. She traveling all that good shit. Italy, all kinds of crazy shit, man. You know so, man? she's a work, she's a work for the airlines. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but, but again, you know, it is someone's out here that, 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 that niggas that just come out here and just try to just prey on. Or the women try to prey on them. Prey it's on a cat you. chase. But that's just the same as in the U.S. Yeah, it's not. There's nothing different. That's why I keep telling people, if you was corny in the States, you're, you're corny, corny here. here. It's, not, it's no magic pill that happens just because no. you get a passport. No, 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 no. And, not and, at all. See, well, the thing is, the thing, I'm going to tell you the whole thing. It's the, it's the, it's the passport. Instead of, instead of just getting your money turned all the way up, that's what you got to do. I told my nephew. Turn your money all the way up. Mm-hmm. And then see how the women are treating you. Facts. You know what I'm saying? When your money's turned all the way up. Because all you coming down here is you got a bag. 
So so like I tell people, I say, yo, me me coming down here is like some cat, some young dude from Saudi Arabia, some some older cat from Saudi Arabia that's worth a couple million, uh -huh. comes to the states, yeah. and he lives. Say he comes to the states and he 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 lives outside of South Bridge or something. Right. You know what I'm saying? Or or uh, so where people ain't got a lot of from the project. He like they fifteen years old. Yeah, he got this. This is the dude. He 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 a millionaire. He riding around. This dude got money. Got a big ass house. Pool. He gonna get the women. The baddest bitch in your hood is gonna jump on his job. He's a millionaire. He's, he he's gonna get he gonna get something nice yeah. out of the hood. The baddest joint in your hood is jumping That's, on his job. It's the same thing. He ain't got to be no suave cat. No. He ain't got to be. You know what I mean? He got the bag. He got the bag. Money talks. Bullshit so when you walks. out when you out here, see brothers get their passport. They got the, now they got the bag. Now they have the they in the bag seat. Yeah. So they wasn't in the bag seat in the states. Right. Now they out here in the right. bag seat. So now they want to poke their chest out, and they want to try to sh you know, crap on all the black women. Like yeah. Women in the states, like oh, women in the states, this and that, and that and this. They, like yo, bro, you just didn't have the bag. That's it. Don't be mad at the women in the states because the women in the states want the men that got the bag, and they because it's women want to be felt provided for and secure. Yeah. How are you going to provide and secure them if you don't have a house to put them in? Facts. And you don't got no money to give them any provisions. That's a fact. You know what I'm saying? That's a fact. So, of course you're not getting play in the States. That's a fact. Because the women in the States are like, well, I'm going to mess with the cats that got money. See, the cats that don't got money or don't seem like they got the fast money. Right. And the women don't think they, they're not finding them interesting because they don't got the bad boy edge to them or whatever. Right, right, right. But... Women want to be with who got the back, so you come out here, now you got the back, so women want to be with you. But cats think that they came out here and it's automatic, like some kind of oil was rubbed on their face and they became attractive. Yeah. Or, or, or they not fat no more, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. like yo, that's, you know what I'm saying? Because what gets me mad is because like you, you, make, you, you got a touchdown, right? You in the end zone and now you want to dance on there, but like you never been there before. But you yeah. know, I'd have, been, I'd have been coming, you know, my ex-wife is from Honduras. So I've been passport broing since I was like 20. Yeah. That's how I got the idea to get the crib. Yeah. It's because we went down there when my daughter was being, when my wife was pregnant, her grandfather was dying. And her uncles in Jersey, they, they was living in the hood. I'm talking about, I'm like, damn, like, I wouldn't even want to sit down when I'm going to so many places. We get to Honduras, these mothers have been sending money back for all these years. Mm -hmm. They got big ass houses with gate, like, Big 15 feet gates rolling back, servants. I told my brother back then, I said, Yeah, I'm getting the service. <laughs> when I get older, I'm getting the service. They be through this bitch too. That's oh, yeah. He, crazy. yeah. <laughs> they be coming through here, you know, sweeping the floors and making sandwiches and drinks and shit. My mom be like, You can do that shit yourself. It's just you. You ain't working. Nah. I mean, I'm paying that. He been speaking on this since he was young, man, since I was little, man, since he Told was trying him. to make me his servant, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, I, I'm, I, it's crazy to see how everything just come together, man. It's so wild, man. Like, real talk, bro. Like, man, <laughs> you know, it's, it's, it's just funny, man. And to have the balls to move to another yeah. country, yeah. come on, man. He's got to be a goat. Yo. You got to give him the goat in the, in the hood. Nah, 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 nah. Come on, man. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. All the way from the L to the M, <laughs> yo, that's niggas the goat. Came through in the forms and shit. Give them motherfuckers flowers, man. Yeah. Stop that shit, man. I don't even want. I, I like. I need. Man, I, listen, I need the hate because I like the fire needs the wind. I, I need get it, it yo. I, I, I need, use it too. I'm not nothing. You know, I need. But, I need you to keep talking to, about to me. Go. I need you to say bad things about me. I need you to <laughs> downplay. I need you to downplay whatever I've done, man, because man. because how I got here. Because how yeah. I get here was it. Some, our biggest hater. No, it was some sucker shit. Our biggest shit. hater was our father. He was the biggest hater. But he, secretly, I think he did the shit on purpose. Yeah, yeah, he always was. He was always, he was always saying, saying, man, you're going to fuck it up. up. You'll fuck it up. You'll fuck it up. No, but it was. So now you try hard not to. You know, no, no, that's not why I bought the house. I know, that's. No, why remember why, hurt, why, I bought, why I bought the house down here? Remember, I had, I had the Porsche. And then Cass was saying shit about the Porsche, and it was some shit, some shit that got spilled online. No, nah, and man, niggas, what's going on, motherfucker? Ran in your crib. He was like, "Yo, I gotta get the fuck out of here." That too. That, that too. Was, that, that's when I really knew I wanted to get the fuck out of the bank. You was like, "Yo, I gotta get the fuck out of here. <laughs> I can't live right here no more. You don't fucking ran in my crib. My shit ain't safe." Oh uh, no. Nah.
And I wasn't even doing nothing. Fit. Yeah. Yeah, all right, all right. You know what I'm saying? Nah, chill. But um, yeah, the balls though. Yeah, I had, I had, I knew nuts. I wanted to go. Come, come on, man, what the fuck? But nah, I, I knew. Those I motherfuckers to. can't even. They ain't even left. The I was East Coast. I was engaged at the time. This motherfucker is in another country. I was engaged. And I told my fiance, I said, listen, just pay all your bills off. Whatever oh, you man. want, pay off. Yeah. We gotta get the fuck up out of here. She's like, for real? I was looking at Hawaii, but I was like, nah, nah Hawaii costs too much. I can't. I ain't, I'm, I'm humble enough to say I ain't got the bag for Hawaii. So I was like, yo, like, we're going go, to go go somewhere and, and live on an island. But, you know, she took a swing at me. I was like, yo, <laughs> safety first. <laughs> we can't. <laughs> We can't have this. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> we can't have this. We got to dead this relationship. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Why? Why was that necessary? Because <laughs> it was Brittany. We're Brittany. Brittany watching. Oh, no. Brittany. Don't get in this. This is my little sister's fault. Yeah, this is Brittany. It's still- <laughs> Brittany gave me a Hulu, Hulu pass. <laughs> Hulu password. <laughs> and I watched the episode. I watched, I watched Atlanta without her. We supposed to get, we supposed to get Hulu. And we was gonna start watching Atlanta, because Atlanta was funny as shit. But she was taking too long to get the password. And listen, I'm making good money. I ain't feel like paying for fucking Hulu. So she was like, I'm gonna get it for my brother. We never got it. Mm-hmm. So Brittany was like, yo, you gotta watch Atlanta. She was like, yo, this is too funny for you not to watch. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, all right, all right, all right. So she gives me the password. So I start watching it secretly on my phone. I'm dying. I'm in the bathroom watching it with the headphones. I'm crying. I'm like, yo, so we go. Me and my fiance, we go to somebody's house, and my man was like, yo, what y'all want to watch? Let's watch on the TV. Said, let's watch Atlanta. I was like, yeah, let's watch Atlanta. He's like, yo, you watch it? I was like, yeah. I'm forgetting that she didn't watch it with me. I said, you remember the episode with the invisible car and Michael Vick? He's like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yo, my ex started getting hot. So she already knew who gave me the damn Hulu account. She said, you got, you was watching it? I was like, yeah. She said, you, how was you watching that? I said, watching on Hulu. Who's Hulu account? So I'm not, I'm not gonna lie, because if you tell one lie, you gotta yeah, tell another. Yeah. So I'm like, Brittany, she snapped. She was already jealous of Brittany. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like she started screaming at me in these people's house. I'm just sitting there like this. I'm like, yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't get excited. Most thing I'm gonna do is get quiet. So I was like, ah. so we get home. I was like, when we get home, we gonna talk. When we get home. We get home. I was like, don't you ever yell at me like that in front of? How you gonna be getting this? And then I see she's like. I always date short women. For this reason right here, I date short women. So I see her little short feet moving towards <laughs> I swear to God, like a movie. And I'm like, that little, little cute feet. Like she aggressive. I'm like, I think it's cute. Little woman, you know, women, little woman running up on me and shit. She like 5'3". So she gets closer. I see her little light-skinned hand ball up. I said, look at her little fist. Look at her little fist. Yo, she cocked that thing back. And I just barely turned my face when she caught me like right here. Yeah. And I felt that little saltiness. I said, I know this bitch ain't bust my lip. Oh shit. I, I said, oh, this bitch to touch the God. <laughs> you didn't hit, you didn't touch the God. I said, oh. <laughs> you gotta go. I said, yo, you gotta get out. She liked you, bro. She was like, I ain't going nowhere. You get I said, get out, this is my house. <laughs> Shit, 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 like, so I was like, yo. No fan told me. Shit, you I said, hit you. Yeah, you hit her back. back. So I'm like, I'm like, yo, man. You got, I said, yo, you got go. I said, I'm gonna call the police. Like I fake like I was calling the police. Knowing I ain't with the police to cover the police would have came. They might she might like, look in the closet. <laughs> look in the closet. So she's like, if you call the police, I'm gonna tell the police you hit me. I said, oh. Oh, I said, we can't even work this out right now. I don't even think she, was she even working at the time? I mean, she might as well not have been working. Shit. She wasn't paying no bills. Anyway, yeah. so, <laughs> anyway, you know what I'm saying? But that, that, that shit happened. That yeah. was, and I was trying to get her to come um, move with that, me out yeah, here. Yeah, that was the whole goal. That was the that whole was goal. goal. I was going to come down here with my, because, and like I said, I, I've dated some very nice looking women in the States, so yeah. I could bring her down here mm-hmm. and, and, and line her up, put her against any of these. Yeah. I, got sev- I got several exes from the States I can bring down here and they'll hold their own. Cause this, that's the problem with coming down here. If you're in a relationship 
if your babe is not secure with herself, yeah. Yeah. do not bring, bring her down her, here. Yeah. Because nah, there's no, there's no, and if, if, see, this is the reason why it's not a lot of, and this is, and this, I, I'm, I'm going to say this, this might not be big, I think this it's a correlation. Mm -hmm. The reason why we don't have a lot of black women like that, just like running around like that, where we from is because of the abortions. Here, abortions are illegal. So if they get pregnant, they having them kids. Right. So in the States, black people lead, we're like the, one of the smallest minorities in the States, and we have the most abortions. So imagine all those kids that if we had to have them had, it would be women everywhere. That's right. And would nobody be fighting over women, you know what I'm saying? It'd be, you know, but we are what we are. So in, in your opinion. In my opinion. Right, right, right. Women's my body. Yeah. All right, we got it. We, I got it. Yeah. But like I said, the women I dated, they can all come down here mm -hmm. and would be fine. Um, if you bring in your girl down here, she's better. She better be secure. But you know, even the most beautiful women be insecure. Like my ex, my ex was super insecure. Yeah. She was insecure. Fine as oh my god, but she was insecure. <clears throat> but um, who was he talking? About? Oh, we talking about uh, how our parents raised us. We gonna go back to that. So I had to do something. Something. Please stop. Yeah, we gonna restart. So I had to do something to get my clothes game right because I couldn't go to school looking crazy. Um, but. It taught me. I had a job. my mom was outside. I knew I had to have a job. So I worked at Roy Rogers, mm -hmm. and and I was I was doing my thing. Then I went to college, and this is the most. This was a bad time for the family when I went to college. But, but necessary. Oh, but it, if it didn't happen, I wouldn't be where I'm at right now. Very necessary. So I'm in college, right? And I'm gonna tell you how it affected. I know. Yeah, I know it fucked you. I know it fucked everybody up. No, but go ahead. But so, on a positive way. Okay. So okay. I'm, I'm in. I'm in college. And like I said, you know, I'm not saying my mother is cheap. We're going to say my mother is very smart with her finances. I'm going to turn the air on too. My mother is very smart with her finances. So um, when I was going to college, uh, my mom looked at how much it cost. And she was like, I got to take out a loan for what? For this and that? And um, shout out to my school, the State University. I wanted to go to Clark. My mother was like, that's too far for me, you to go. If something happens to you, I got to come get your ass. So I had to go to school right down the street, so I went to Dell State. So my mom was like, um, I'm going to take you off my taxes. Shit, you can put this loan in your own damn name. So my mom put all the loans in my name. Because <laughs> she knew. Because I graduated I graduated early. I graduated 17. So this, where I went to high school is different now. When I went to high school there, it was only 12 black people graduated in my class. Whew. Yeah, exactly. So like 10% of the class was, was black. That's why I ain't go to like prom, homecoming, none of that shit. I was cool with the white people there, but I ain't, I'm not going to that shit. Cause one, I couldn't get a date and I wasn't allowed to date white women. So I wasn't, my mom wasn't gonna let me go to prom with a white girl. And all the black girls were taken up. So I'm like, man, I'm not going by myself. I'm not, we boycotted, so we like, yo, we boycotted. So, we, so I ain't go. So I go to Dell State. So I go from being the only black kid in class. Cause I wasn't dumb. So I'm in the class with the college preparatory white students. All white. Getting, right? All white. Getting, uh, so, Every now and then we get like you get some you get your homeboy in class or you get your whole girl and you try to sit next to him and shit, but it was predominantly white. So if twelve black people graduate in the class, you can imagine how many classes I had with black people in it. So we graduate <clears throat> going to Dell State. Now I'm in I'm going to a HBCU, which is historically black college university. Culture shock. I go from being the only black kid in class to the whole class is black. The teacher's black, the janitor's black. The, the librarian is black. Everybody's black. I got to turn that off. Everybody's black. So I'm, I'm losing my mind. I'm like, it's too much stimulation going on. <laughs> and this is around the time that Daisy Deuce came out. So oh, like, man. The, oh, my God. And then, the, oh, my God, the girls, from, <laughs> the girls from D.C. came through. Uh, crazy. Oh, my God, man, bro. Then you out there with all these beautiful black women, man. Crazy. And you, they want you to go to class? Oh, man, no. Spring hit, that weather broke. I took my chair out of my dorm room and put that drink right in front of the well. And we was just sitting out there and I'm smoking trees while I'm out there. So somebody, while I'm out there, laces my weed. So I'm out this bitch going ham, crazy. Like I'm losing it. So it was a wild story. Like 